Good morning to you. It's 4 a.m. on this Wednesday, May the 17th, and here are today's top headlines. Chilling new video this morning of a head-on crash in Riverside County that left a child dead. Plans to build a sprawling resort embedded a canyon moving forward, at least for now. My residents think the decision will bring danger to the community. And the Lakers come up short in game one of the Western Conference Finals against the Denver Nuggets. Boy, that, that game was just not fun to watch. KTLA 5 Morning News starts right now. Yeah, by halftime. Well, yeah. it got good at the end. Yeah, at the end, but but I was already asleep. It was a one asleep. position. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, good morning to you. I'm Chris Shaw. I'm Megan Henderson. We appreciate you joining us. Uh, we'll check your roads and yeah. shortly. First, let's talk about weather. Well, let's talk about sports. <laughs> <laughs> you stayed up to watch the whole thing. Well, you know what? I don't watch the beginning of a basketball game. I, just just wait till the f I always wait till the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. Then my boys be, and then they're like, yeah, Lakers are down by less than 10. So then I go and. Because yeah. they've been down by so much <laughs> right, before exactly. that. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, I did. I watched like the, you know, I know the fans be like, ah, you got to watch the whole game. But no, you me, don't. Uh, you know, Not in the NBA. I watched the last six minutes and it was exciting. Lakers going to be okay. All right. So uh, we're going to talk about weather. Yes. <laughs> Megan's like, please. Uh, we did have a warm up yesterday. I don't know if you felt that. A lot of the inland areas definitely saw uh, some sunshine earlier start to it. We did see some warmer weather. Not so much along the coast where the cloud coverage a little pesky. Matt Stoppler this morning looks very similar to yesterday. And I said, hey, don't look at this and be alarmed thinking, oh my goodness. Now this afternoon, we could be looking at some thunderstorm development. The offshore flow is strengthening. Not quite strong enough, though, to kick out the marine layer here we go long beach you have some morning cloud coverage that marine layer is out there could we get a little drizzle out of it yeah there's always that possibility most of what we're seeing is just some cloud coverage low-lying cloud coverage we will see a chance of some afternoon thunderstorms popping up and just because of the heat through the inland areas but right now we'll go partly cloudy a little windy in some spots including the ie at about 30 miles per hour uh, we are looking at a slight uptick in temperatures by a couple of degrees for the inland valleys a couple of degrees for the coastal areas as well we're just warm warm maybe a little muggy as well over the next couple of afternoons. We'll talk more about it in a few minutes. Ginger, we'll send it over. All right, yes, and boy, that cloud cover in some spots even thicker, believe it or not, than what we saw yesterday. So we'll track that. For now, anyway, we want to make sure that everybody's well aware of the landslide that continues to close a portion of the fire freeway. So let's see, today's Wednesday, right? So tonight they will work till tomorrow, and then I believe they'll reset, and then the closures will be slightly different Saturday into Sunday. I have to recheck my emails. But anyway, it's the five southbound side between the 138 to Templin Highway, all those southbound lanes are closed. So you see the 138. You take the 138 east, the 14 south, back over to the 5 freeway. Me, I probably waited out until 5 o'clock because you know, it's kind of, it's not the terribly long way around. But I feel like waiting it out is maybe the better bet. And then we have other work going on here for the northbound side of the 405. Closure starts right here at about Euclid up to Brookhurst. They've been working here. Remember, estimated time frame of them uh, having everything done is sometime this year. We'll see. They've been really uh, right on track, right on time, and really good about all that information. For now, those lanes are closed. All right, back to you guys. We begin with breaking news. An LAPD officer has been hospitalized after a crash in University Park. It happened about 2.30 this morning in the 2900 block of South Flower Street near West 30th Street. The police cruiser collided with a Honda sedan. The woman in the Honda not hurt. One officer was taken to the hospital. That person's condition unknown. It's unclear what caused the patrol car to crash into that other vehicle. A local community left devastated this morning after an eight year old boy was killed in a head on crash. At least four others were also badly hurt. KTLA 5's Carlos Herrera live in Riverside.